So Joshua Bassett has been all over social media because he has been posting more about Jesus. And back in 2022, you guys, he was posting on Twitter and everybody like his tweets were going viral because they're like, is he OK? Why is he like, did anybody hack his account? Is this the real Joshua Bassett? Because for so long, he was like on the whole other radar of Christianity, where I believe he came out as being gay. He was really into the whole LGBT. He was very supportive of it and then out of nowhere he comes out with these tweets one that says jesus christ is the only way his death and resurrection are historically documented turn away from hate seek forgiveness and come home to him most people i know including myself are struggling right now please be good to yourselves and others reach out to support those you love and don't be afraid to ask for help so he posted these around the same week talking about Jesus and how and saying how he's the only way and everybody was just taken aback and they thought it was like a hoax and that this just wasn't true but recently he came out in this interview um with Brew on the radio or, or Bruh on the radio um talking about his new album and crazy enough he was actually talking about Jesus as well my mind some people think i was brainwashed some people think that you know a lot of different things um and and i get that because i you know when it comes to like jesus i was so against that and i thought everyone who followed him was crazy and wrong and whatnot and then i had like literal personal encounters with jesus like insane life-changing um mm -hmm. stuff that that like the peace that i was looking for i was reading all these books and trying to find like that that answer to life and, and what what why are we here and, and looking for that love and every single time I, I felt like i was getting progress but i was actually reaching a dead end and i was even more and more depressed and more and more addicted and i fell into these like holes and i just wasn't feeling that peace until i literally had the most insane encounter with jesus ever and then i finally felt the peace that i, I was always looking for and and so it wasn't like somebody told me you know about god and, and i just fell into the belief because i was convinced I, I had to know for myself and god showed himself to me and i literally experienced his peace and so that has just radically changed everything you love seeing those things you know yeah. and just learning more about you and all that so for sure and i'm trying to find the balance too because i get some people are like keep it to yourself i don't want to hear it because that was how i was you know yeah. anytime my dad tried to talk to me about jesus i would roll my eyes and i didn't want to talk to him on the phone so i get that but it's also kind of like when you find peace and happiness and you find like what you truly believe is the answer to so much, it's hard to keep that to yourself and not want to share that with people. And so I, I'm trying to find the balance of like sharing my faith um, in a way that people don't feel like is attacking them or is trying to tell them that they're wrong, mm -hmm. but more inviting them into the love that I've experienced yeah. through God, you know? And so that's, that's what I'm trying to navigate right now. See, so many people, um, I believe, are go through this experience of where someone is telling them so much about Jesus and they get annoyed hearing it over and over again because they're like, oh my gosh, like leave me alone. I'm tired of Jesus. I don't care about him. I don't believe in him. But then eventually something in their minds click when they go through a really hard trial in their lives and they go through like this intense pain and they finally have to experience Jesus for themselves because that's the only way to turn to. You don't know that God is real until he's the only one that you have and you tried everything else. You've tried every other medicine every other remedy but only the remedy of jesus his true peace his true love works and that's what's going on with that's what happened with josh is that he was raised in a christian home he was raised this way and he strayed away from it because he didn't like it constantly being told to him and he wanted to you know pursue pursue worldly passions youthful passions right the bible says to stay away from youthful passions but that's what joshua did and he strayed away and because of that he went through a really dark time in his life where jesus Jesus was the only one that was there and I feel like that's a lot of us and I think it's awesome because a lot of the youth nowadays a lot of people in different um, parts of Hollywood or different parts of influence are coming to encounter God and realizing that he re that Jesus really is a solution for all of the problems in our world for the problems when it comes to anxiety when it comes to mental mental health and depression and how God is the only reason why we are able to have hope and this is a few other videos of Joshua throughout the, since 2022 he posted this um, back two years ago and on Twitter at, since then what well, he's been talking about Jesus Jesus in public spaces 
every religion, every single thing, people will be like, only my way is right or only my way is right. Oh, it's me versus them. It's like, no, we're all trying to find peace and love. Like, we're all going towards the same goal. We're just coming from different angles. I, uh, I grew up Christian, and I ran the other way as far as I could go in pursuit of truth. And that only ended in uh, addiction, depression, uh, suicidal ideation, eating disorders, etc. And no other teacher gave me anywhere near the peace that Jesus Christ did. And I'm here to publicly declare him as my Lord and Savior. No, this is just awesome, Josh. I'm so happy for you, man. Now, people are rightly concerned that he got baptized at Bethel Church, myself included. But it turns out Josh isn't connected with that church. He doesn't attend that church, and he was unaware about their unbiblical teaching. Now, talking about his testimony, I'm so glad that he found peace and freedom in Christ. And only given a 10-second soundbite, I trust there was more he wanted to say. Look, I don't know Josh personally, but this is an awesome development. It truly looks like God's working on his heart. I think this is a great opportunity for him to use his influence for the gospel i'm gonna be praying for him and i i hope you do too there's this one first i just very slip up here, here. Um, I'd like to thank my lovely supporters. I'd love to thank the cast and crew of High School Musical the Musical the series and I'd love to thank my savior Jesus Christ. I want to say something there are a lot of people here who are burdened broken hearted and have been beaten down by life I'm here to tell you for those of you who have lost hope, there is a very real God who loves you more than you will ever possibly know, okay? His promise is peace, and my testimony is my healing. Remember, forgive quickly, love freely, and walk courageously. Love always wins in the end. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Mwah. And that one, the last clip to me, even though everything is impactful, the last clip to me was so impactful because he's at the Teen Choice Awards for Nickelodeon. And there are so many young people there who are unbelievers, so many celebrities there that he spoke to about God and that for a few seconds, they were able to hear the gospel. And he's using his platform to spread the truth, to spread freedom and spread ultimately what God has called us to do. And that's what makes me so joyful because through him he's using so much influence to bring others to christ and people finally realize like hey if someone like joshua bassett who was so far gone who supported the complete opposite of what jesus represents can come back to jesus and actually admit that jesus is the only cure and the only remedy then so can i and there has to be something about this jesus that is different from every other thing that i've tried and i really do believe that so many more youth so many more young people in our generation are coming to god because these celebrities uh, influence them for that but also ultimately there's just this hunger and this desire for Jesus in this in this time period because we're realizing that why is anxiety increasing in our generation why is suicide and suicide rates increasing and we realize it's because we have no God anymore we have no love because there's no God and I'm just so, it's just so beautiful to see because even a few few days ago, I realized that um, I was watching Chandler Moore, who was, is in Mr. Beast. He also was, he's also po posting Christian videos now, Christian TikToks. You see Gabby Hanna, you see Gideon, you see Big Nick, you see all of these influencers. And th that's just, and that's just the influencer community. You know, there's uh, the, then the celebrities, the Hollywood actors, the YouTubers, there's all kinds of people who are now posting about God because they tr they've tried everything else and they realize that this is the only thing that really stays with them in the hardest trials and that God is real and that he ultimately is the only thing that matters in this world and I feel like I just love seeing this love seeing hope being passed on and you know um, these people, you know, they're rich. All of these people that, that Joshua Bassett, he's a wealthy man. He's famous. He has everything. But like Jesus said 2000 years ago, that's still so relevant today is, and what do you benefit if you gain the whole world, but lose your own soul? Is anything worth more than your soul? And a lot of times, all the time, people value their riches and their vanity and their materialistic wealth over their souls. And they give everything up. They give up their soul, their being, their truth, their light for that materialistic wealth, for that influence, for that fame. And Jesus is here telling us, what is, what is the benefit of that? What do you gain from doing all these things if you're going to lose your soul? Because your soul is the only thing 
something that will outlive your body. It will outlive your material wealth. So your soul matters so much more than everything that the world tells you matters. And Jesus knew. Jesus created our soul and he knows that there is a battle for our soul because it is so worthy. It matters so much. Imagine how worth, worthy our soul was that Jesus would literally come down to die for us because he sees our worth where the devil, he wants to take us to hell and take us to the to the darkness on on earth and after earth but jesus said that your soul is more worth it and i'm so grateful because joshua bassett has realized that that no matter how wealthy he was it never satisfied his soul and ultimately the soul is what matters the most because it outlives the flesh and that's what gives you true peace and true happiness and that even in the darkness even in the hard moments god is with you and you're and if your soul is at peace everything else will follow and that's only through jesus christ so i'm, I'm just that I just think it's beautiful that he's out here in interviews talking about God being a positive influence to the youth because out of all of these crazy celebrities, we need good influences. We need people who are are fearful of God, who do proclaim the word of God and tell the youth to live righteously and to read their Bibles and that being a follower of Christ is not outdated and not something that only our parents can identify with, but something that we as a young people can identify with. So those are my thoughts on that. Let me know what y'all think and I'm out.